Dearly beloved, sincerely departed. We're just getting started. I got my guy with me, none other than. Huh? Sensei Saga, man. Four horsemen, outsiders. Yeah. You know what it is, man. You're on TV. Yeah, you know? yeah. Right now. You know? It's a, it's, a, it's a pivotal time in your career, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, we, we wanna, I want to go through some things. I know initially, when you was coming up, you battled a lot of people. You battled chess. And now, for like the past two or three years, probably three years since about 16, you haven't lost a battle. And you've had a lot of battles. You had yeah. Tank the Demon. Tank the Demon. You know, you've had uh, Chef Trez. Chef Trez. You've had JC. JC. You've most listened. You had Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You had Ryder. Ryder. You had Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes. <laughs> you battled Fetty Chini 20. You battled Speed Dotto. Speed Dotto. Be Magic. Know, be Magic. You know, we're, you what we're Emerson doing. Kennedy? Emerson, Emerson Kennedy's Kennedy? in Emerson there Kennedy's too. In you know what I'm saying? Somewhere in the mix. We, we, we on like 10 or 11 games in a row. You know, I mean, you know the JC, saying? a lot of people could debate. I mean, I had you 2 1, but I mean, we're not going we to knock anybody for their personal opinion. Uh, of course. You know what I mean? But I feel uh, like it was a great battle overall. So, like, you know what I mean? It could be 2 1 either way for some people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are, are swinging it in my favor in regards to 2 1. Right. Um, but nonetheless, a classic is something that's really hard to. To really, you know what I'm saying, give a decisive winner to. Some people are gonna say this guy, some people are gonna say that guy, but as long as it's a classic, uh -huh. that's all I'm concerned about, you know what I mean? You know, um, you battle Rum Nitty. Yes. Uh, at battle, that, you know, you guys had a secret event at battle, and the results, a lot of people, a lot of people are saying you got that one. I haven't seen the footage yet, but I know I've spoken to people who are very dependable and reliable, and nobody who I've spoke to said, that you know you got washed or you lost or anything. So how? You tell me how it went. You know what I mean? Give, give let the people know how it went. Um, in all honesty, right? What's your what's your what's your real call? You got that? I'm um, I'm calling I'm calling to be fair, two one clear. Mm. I'm gonna call it two one clear in favor of me. Mm. You can debate a thirty, right? So I felt I clearly got the first. Mm -hmm. I clearly got the third, mm. and the second is more so preference or who, it's who you want to go with. But all in all, I feel like I clearly got the battle. Great battle, nonetheless, though. It's not like Nitty was just like just getting out punched or out class. It was a great battle, but mm -hmm. I feel like I just brought a little bit more to the table. I feel like you know I, I cared more about just proving a point this okay. battle. So first and third, clearly, I feel like I got. And second, preference. You know what I mean? You can give me the thirty if you want. You can give me the two one, but. I feel like it's in my favor to be honest. You know what I mean? Saga beat Rum. You know that's the that's the question. That's you know what I'm that's headlines. The moment the battle drops. The moment the battle drops. Saga beats Rum Nitty. Right. Shock face emoji. Like what? I mean, this got me. You you know I don't do a lot of face to face interviews. You know that. You know this what is I mean? a special occasion, y'all. <laughs> this is no, there's no rice gang in the back. Right. There's no wooden L's. Right. You know right. They hand out to somebody. You know what I'm saying? No we, backdrop. We, we in the, the dojo row. right now. In the front row. We we in the yeah, front yeah. we in the front pew. All right. <laughs> it takes a lot to for Ronnie to step out the office and come all the way to Brooklyn. And, you know what I'm saying? It's to, to holler at you. But I mean, I felt like this is a very pivotal time in your career. Um, you know, you've dealt with a lot of naysayers. You've dealt with a lot of hate. You've dealt with a lot of people that are you know downplayed Absolutely. with downplayed your talent. Absolutely. Said that this is not really you know what you should be doing. You know, and then yeah. I you get a, I see a lot of people say you went from you know, the, the holy bars to now all of these gun bars. Can you explain, like, how does that work? Like, wh 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 where's the line at? I mean, um, a lot of people are gonna say that, right? They're gonna say the saga went from Christian bars to gun bars, but if you watch my Proving Grounds battle mm -hmm. against Black Mugger, mm. first round, mm. threw some gun bars in there. Mm. I've been doing this even before I got on URL. This okay. is not something the way I've changed. The thing that's changing in people's mind is, the talent and the progress is shown, so now they're trying to nitpick at everything. I've been doing this, right? Right. I've been, you know, not saying it's something that's all oh, like a saga being a hypocrite. Like, this is something I've been around, it's something I've lived through, it's something I've, I've experienced. Mm -hmm. So, why not bring that to the forefront? You know right. what I mean? People paint this false picture of Christianity being perfect, and since I'm a Christian, I have to be holy and righteous and, and you know, look down on people and judge them. No, I'm just painting a picture from my perspective and my story. So, I mean, we're getting gun bars. You've been Getting them. We in Brooklyn. We, we in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Wichita, Kansas. We are in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Right? Like it goes down in a lot of these areas. Um, That's a fact. So you battle Rum Nitty. Yes. 
a lot of people have you winning that battle. You're just coming off of a battle with, I mean, a lot of people that were there and people, and, you're, and you have it too. Yeah. And you battle JC. I mean, people have called it how they call it. I personally, I look at it like this when it deals with battles with you versus a name that's bigger than you or has somebody that has a bigger resume or somebody that's a bigger statue. If you make that battle debatable, to me, it's a win because it's like you're not supposed to be in I'm it not anyway. supposed to. And I'm saying, like, even in that aspect, that's why I say people say that Nitty won or oh, I got to watch it again or if it's classic or debatable, 2 1 either way, I feel like. I've won in a sense because I'm not supposed to be, I'm quote unquote not supposed to be winning these battles. Right. I just battled one of the best pens in the world in JC. Mm -hmm. in, in the Midwest, I battled a Midwest legend in the Midwest. I wasn't supposed to leave that venue with a W or feeling like I won. Right. I battled him and then a month later, I battled one of the best, if not the best puncher in battle rap mm -hmm. and I'm making it debatable or I'm, I'm clearly winning 2-1. Mm. I'm not supposed to be doing that from this little Christian boy, little Christian rapper guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, right. Um, what, 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 what do you want next? Like, what, what, what do you see next in the, in this, in the, in the hemisphere for you, man? man what's, what's, the, what's what we looking for in the horizon? I've been, I've been talking back and forth with Beasley, time in and time out, and um, I think what's best, instead of what's next, what's best is opening up Gnome or Summer Madness. Gnome or Summer Madness. Let me open up Gnome or Summer Madness. I feel like I've, I've, I've paid my dues in these, in these small battles, the bands, the Born, shout out to Born Legacies too, but I feel like I, I've grown so much as an artist and the last time I was on the main stage was the two on two with mm. Clips, John John, and Big T. I haven't, I've, I've grown so much. Right, right, then. a lot, like, yeah, you've you know, up a lot. Since I feel like I can hold that stage on my own now. So like, you know, let's get, let's get a opening up known with Av, you know mm. what I mean? Let's get an opening up known with like uh, uh, Mike P. Mm. Or let's get Danny Myers out there. Like, mm. let's what open about a B dot. B dot. I would love to take B dot in the West Coast too. Like, if we, if they're planning another traffic sometime soon. I would love to battle B dot in the West Coast. Like, I think that'd be crazy. Oh man. Um, so what about the naysayers, man? I mean, you know, we all gonna have naysayers. You have naysayers, I have naysayers. They, they feel like you shouldn't be here. They feel like even I shouldn't be here. But if you have your own perspective and your own way of doing things, people are gonna look at you different. They're gonna say, oh, you shouldn't be around. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But what do you say to them? I mean, I have a question to answer that question. Okay. How are you able to find that balance with everything you had to deal with as well? Um, you know, you, you've like, I've dealt with a lot of backlash. Yeah. You've dealt with a lot of criticism as well. Uh -huh. How were you able to persevere and show like you could still stand tall in your platform and not only just stand tall, but increase and just reach yeah. a new, like how do you deal with that? Um, you deal, when I look at things, you look at things from a perspective of, there's two sides of the street. There's a side of the street where we're at on one side of the camera and there's the other side of the street where people are on the other side of the camera. Yeah. You, I cannot pander to people's opinions about whether me or my partner or my dogs or anybody, you can't really, you only have to appeal to the people's opinions who love what you do, respect what you do. Of course you're gonna have naysayers, of course you're gonna have people. I was never everything that someone said I was. Right. But at the same time, it's like, I can't go back and forth for every single person. Right. So you just continue to appeal, continue to grow. And if they rock with you, they're gonna rock with you. And if they don't, they don't. And then for Absolutely. me, that was my focus. So my right. only focus was to remain focused. Yes. So when I did that, the doors just opened and things just got way better and better and better. So that's kind of like how I dealt it's, with that. It's, cra it's crazy to think about that because like we've we've seen each other's fall and rise in, in many occasions mm -hmm. where like things were shooting up, things were going good. And we stayed in great communication. Like a lot of people, this is my guy right here. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. So like we've seen the, the, the trials and tribulations, the, the triumphs and all that like and to see how you've grown right. in your platform uh -huh. is kind of parallel to like how I've been through the 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 the, the, the tries, down, the, the trials and stuff. Downs. I've been through everything, so it's like I've had moments where I was loved for a second, I was hated, I was ridiculed, I was criticized, I was like pretty much the topic of conversation towards somebody to hate, and all of a sudden I pushed through the nonsense, stayed focused, worked within my demographic of people that only came to see me. Mm -hmm built up my fan base to where they started telling people, nah, Saga's different now, boom. Sensei's doing it, oh, Sensei Saga, who the hell's that? Okay, right. to the point now, the way they see Sensei Saga, and they're like, I like Sensei Saga more than regular Saga. Mm. Like, I've literally rebranded myself and I've focused on just like bettering my craft so much that they have attached this new idea to a whole new person. Mm. So you, now that you've attached that whole idea to a whole new person, when it deals with you on your music, 
Talk right. about your music, because I mean, you have music that people actually listen to. Yeah. Like my kids will listen to your music. Showtime SP, different people. Shout and I, and I, that's, shout, my that's, that's my guy. guy. And I um and I put different people onto your music because it's music that I really feel. Not just because you're my friend, because I mean I have a lot of friends whose music is. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, man, you gotta go back to the studio <laughs> that's and get a little chat. You know what I'm saying? Boy, but man. how does your music? How have you begin to continue to transcend with the music piece? I think uh, with this new, like with just rebranding myself and right. just focusing on trying to create a new. Uh, image and, and, and really focusing on honing my craft and battle rap, it's brought more attention to the music because a lot of people are associating Sensei Saga outside of battle rap now. Right. Like they hear songs like Legend or mm -hmm. they hear songs like Motions, which is a lot different from what I used to do when I was first coming up. So now they're like, oh, Sensei Saga is a whole different artist within the same umbrella, like the same entity. Like mm -hmm. Saga, now it's, a, it's like a Saga umbrella, but now Sensei Saga is over here though. He's like, so like with that, I've been putting out more music uh, to really reach a different demographic, you know what I mean? Just reaching somebody outside of the church, but still standing on a Christian foundation. Mm -hmm. And it's been working out, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm putting out music that speaks words of affirmations into other people, like Legend. Mm -hmm. Legend is a song about just like speaking work, speaking life into your situation. Like think you're a legend, think you're greatness. Don't work, don't work towards greatness, work in greatness. Mm. So in that, like, I'm still standing on a Christian foundation, but I'm just trying to find new ways of, of showing the growth in my music and my battle rap, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, um, I, I always look to people like yourself, to people like Danny Myers, to other people who I believed had talent, but just I believe needed a little bit more of an influence of fans behind it, you know what right. I mean? And I could easily talk about the Tay Rocks, the Hollow the Downs, the Sue Surfs, and do big numbers. I mean, because when you have a viable platform, people are gonna watch. Absolutely. But I took the challenge to talk about battles of yours. I remember when I talked about a battle of yours maybe a year and a half ago. Maybe like 2,000 people watched it, which is not cr not crazy, but it's a small number. Yeah, I appreciate I the 2,000 that watched it. I recapped you versus JC. I think it's at like 20, 25,000. So more, you know, your, your whole base of people is starting to expand. Yeah. And now with the music, I know when I was put um, putting the little snippets of the video in the uh, intro, people was watching it. People was yeah. telling me they watched it. People was like really, you know, relying on that to get, you know, a hold of your music. Yeah, a, a lot of people were even commenting on the video when I actually released the video. They were commenting like, yo, Vada sent me here. I right. was looking for this song since Vada put it on four or five different blogs. He would start off the, the whole thing with recaps and stuff. He would just throw my song in there, 15 seconds, boom, you know? Right. And um, it's definitely brought a new light, man. I thank you because you actually just, uh, you've taken the narrative that's already painted and you went against the grain of that. You know what I mean? For a while, Saga was the topic of discussion to be hated on. Saga was trash. Saga's mm -hmm. this, that, and the third. And to some people, I'm still that. But for the most part, you went against the grain. He's like you said, talk about Danny Myers, talk mm -hmm. about myself and mm -hmm. others who may not have gotten the recognition from other uh, medias and, and, and platforms, stuff like that. But you know, with that, with your platform and just me remaining as consistent as I can with every battle, mm -hmm. it brought more attention to the idea of what Sensei Saga and Sensei Season is, you know what I mean? You just battled Rum Nitty. I just battled, I mean, come on, on, man. I battled one of the best punchers in the game. Like, and I got crazy. You got crazy, crazy? I got crazy. Like, it was to the point that, like, I'm looking at, like, Shine standing, like, next to Smack. Sugar standing in the distance. He's sitting there, like Sugar sitting in the chair, and I'm saying my like out out the intro, my first couple bars. He's like, Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you know you're cooking. You want okay. something? Okay, yeah. The move. He's like, Oh, hold up. You want Rum, something? Rum was like, They all had, they all lost hope. Rum went first. He's snapping. And he's like, Oh, it's over. <laughs> yeah, to come back. It's a long night for Saga. Sensei season. Out the first <laughs> bar. No. Oh, whoa. what? They told me you're getting crazy with the pen, man. And I truly appreciate your growth and yeah. the fact that you continue to stay consistent because, like I said, in my own personal life, I just looked at it like I don't have it figured out. I'll never have it all the way figured out. But one thing I'll never do is quit. Come you know on. what I'm saying? So as long as you never quit, as long as you, you know, quit, man. you will be there longer than the people who naysay the people. I've seen people in, in the same lifespan not like you. And then they double back around, like, you know what? He is actually kind of nice when I listen to the lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Like, Saga is kind of nice. And I'm like, you're the same person that was in the comments before, like, why is he even on Smack? Why That's is he on URL? You know, and I, I expect that. You know, stepping forward, I thank God that they didn't announce the Nitty Battle. Oh, no, they got you. Listen, 
If they would have announced the nitty battle with at least a week or two weeks time before it happened, I promise you, the amount of back, like the amount of like slander, they would have got me out of here before the battle even went. But at the same time, like while writing, I kept that in mind. Like I'm already out. Like I'm already down and out. They counted me out. They expect me to lose before they even knew about it. Yeah. Let alone if they did know about it, I'd be receiving tweets, comments, and hate. You'd be recapping it, or you'd be predicting it, and uh, so many other people would be predicting it. Be like, oh, I got, I got ninety three old body, you know. You probably wouldn't have said that. I no, I, I, yeah, you know I, what I'm saying? I've been telling you you're gonna I, win recently. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I, mean, I said you're gonna just, win. I'm gonna say you're gonna win. It wasn't an easy win. road to get him to believe in me, y'all. Oh yeah, Listen, oh god. It wasn't an easy road. You gonna go there? I'm just, I'm just. Oh, gonna go there. I just wanna just reel it back in. <laughs> go 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 I, I, I just wanna let y'all know. Eddie Guerrero. Come on, you know what I'm saying? It took a while. He right. was he listen, and this is no slight to Ryder, that's my man. But like yo, he said that Ryder was gonna beat me. Oh, he said Ryder was gonna beat me. Oh my he god. He said Ryder that's I'm telling y'all the truth, man. <laughs> Band Legacy one, I let him know off the oh rip. Like, yeah, man, god. me and Ryder's locked in. He's like, oh man. Uh, uh, we doing that today. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I might I might got Ryder. I might I might got I might sorta of kinda got Ryder. Oh, man. You know And what happened? Things happen, man. Eddie Guerrero happened. Saga got that. And from there, you know, I've had you to win pretty much all your battles. That's a fact. You versus JC, I picked you to win. You versus Rum Nitty, I knew about it. I picked you to win. You know what I'm saying? And moving And that's forward. big. And you versus Repot, I have you winning. Yeah, and, um, I'm going to get him out of here. And whoever else. I'm going to get you out of here. Reba. But Danny Meyer said he wants smoke, though. Danny been doing what's up. I've been calling out Danny since my, my Chilla Jones battle. Chilla Jones, I, I did the whole what's a bar of God is someone who literally writes God bars. I've been mm. Emerson Kennedy, the whole you believe in a parallel universe. Well I do too, man. The streets crazy. I'm mm. on the same time. I'm on the same time they was playing hard, but was around the same time I was facing shotgun. Ch -ch -ch, my little homie got G baby. I was uh, I'm ready for you, Danny. Fire. 2020. Wow. Off the rip. Danny Myers and Saga will have to, like, I don't care if it's West Coast. I don't care if it's East Coast. I don't care if it's somewhere weird like Milwaukee. Don't I don't matter. care if it's in Kansas. Don't matter. I, it don't matter. Don't matter. You ain't talking no Big smoke. stage, no small smoke. stage, like ground level. Me and Danny got to run that FA 2020. I'm talking about early 2020. Man. Early 2020. So what? So so what's the what's the looks like for you, man? Are we talking small rooms, big stages? What we doing here, man? What's the look like? Man? Listen, man. Like like I'm like I'm telling Beasley and them. Like how's the money looking now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. The money. The money. <laughs> Sensei season clothing. Ah. <laughs> the money. All uh, right now. Looking, dog. Now the money. The money's look. The money's looking right. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm finally, I'm finally getting what I deserve. Oh, okay, okay, you know okay. Saying? I just want to make sure. It was, it was a struggle. Oh, it was a struggle. It, it was a while. We had to work. <laughs> we had to work. And now it's like, you know, you get busy on the phone. And you know, when busy start talking a certain way, you know, the money's coming. Listen, oh, yeah. Saga, Saga, listen. Uh, we. We, we got your rum nitty. What do you think? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah Beasley. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, let's let's. Yeah, you can't battle rum nitty. Come on, you can't, yeah, talk yeah, yeah, yeah. To, Come on, talk, in. talk. To Have the a kid. seat. You want something to drink? Right, right, right. Oh and now, man, things things are looking real right right now, man. So, but you know what though, I will say this. Um, even though I had a lot of positive words of affirmation to help stimulate your career, at the same time, you have to take all of that in correspondence and and make it work. You know what I'm saying? Because I can talk about you, or anybody can talk about you, and bring you up, talk about your battles, promote you, and hope you do good. And if you go there and lose, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't matter because at the same time, you still uh, you're done. You nobody yeah. nobody cares. You know what I'm saying? Nobody does. Like yo, you know, nobody you, you, does. You talking about him, but he got smoked. He got thirty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know, you know um, I think at this point, um, I've learned to look like you said, like in regards to just staying focused on just like. In your own craft, honing your own craft, like regardless of what the the culture is saying, no, no matter what the agenda or the machine is pushing, like I've maintained uh, a steadiness in being the best me, you and in the, that brought the attention of the right people. You made the cross fit, yeah. You know, made the they cross. They say Christ, come on, man. They say <laughs> Christ in battles won't work out, but I made the cross. You made the cross fit, bro. Listen, I'm just grateful now that people are really whoa, paying whoa, whoa, attention. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait! I need this one. You were supposed to be having a battle that you turned down. Can we find it? Can you at least say that real okay. quick? Why? So, all right, you want to know why? Here's what happened and why I didn't take the battle. 
I had rum nitty without anybody knowing, so I couldn't announce it to anybody, right? So when I put out a tweet saying I got one of the biggest offers in battle rap for my life, you know what I mean? I said no to it, and um, here's what happened. I have rum nitty, right? Just mm -hmm. like a few days ago. I have Reaper Well on the 30th. Mm -hmm. and we all know Smack Volume 5 is on December 14th, which mm -hmm. would leave me 14 days to write for Charlie Clips. Mm -hmm. Now here's what happened, right? I do not have enough time to give Charlie Clips what I feel like he's worth in regards to him being a legend. I'm not gonna write 14 in. Reaper gets a week. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh, Reaper gets a week. Ooh. Reaper's getting a week. <laughs> Charlie Clips, at least at the minimum, deserves a month of just dedicated, I'm blocking out all battles, really taking my time to hone in on my craft because he's Charlie Clips. You know what I mean? You don't play around with that. And the thing about the idea, I literally went from Ryder to getting a call for Clips in one year. And Nitty. And, and JC. Nitty. From Ryder, Shep Trez, JC, Rum Nitty, and I got the call for clips all in one year. And we remember make... when they were trying to say you was the worst out the horseman. Don't act like we don't remember that time. It wasn't too long ago. Don't act like they wasn't saying you wasn't the worst one. They used to kill me up in these comments, bro. I used to hate those tweets. Who's the best horseman? And then it'd be like, Assad is out the picture anyway. So let's talk about these three. It's like. Like, they're all my brothers, man. Yeah, so, I mean, but it's, it's got to be friendly competition. Y'all want the best. Of course, you know what I mean? We all strive to be uh, better, you know what I mean? And honestly, I have a favorite horseman. I feel like I, I have one that I put above myself in regards to those rankings, mm -hmm. but, um, which is a word. But uh, beyond that, I think it was more so about changing their perspective of me. Overall, like they had no respect on my name. No, like they had no respect on no, my name. No, they, they all of a sudden I started hitting the sniggers in danger. They're like, oh, oh, sniggers in danger. Then the baptizer, the bubble stop. Yeah, the Eddie Guerrero. The Eddie Guerrero. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking sh the dinner. Uh, the the biscuits is ready. Man. Yeah, that was a big moment for you. The CrossFit. I can't wait for y'all to see what I got for wrong. I got. Oh my, uh, man. We, but we, there's moments in every battle, y'all. How many of your favorite battle rappers can you say bring a moment every battle? Oh, man. A moment, like, oh, like they give you a hot bar, cool. But like I'm talking about, you can leave that battle saying that bar. I'm I'm never gonna forget that bar. Man, you know what? It's not too many, and I'm glad to see that you're continuing to transcend, continuing to build your brand, and continuing to grow. I just wanted to pull up to the congregation to have this conversation. You know what I'm saying? And, Absolutely. Um, you got anything else you want to shout out or whatever the case may be before we get out of here? Yo, listen, man. Aside from everything else, shouts to Norbs. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Somebody who took a chance on a, on a Christian battle rapper who just had two battles to his name decided to put me on the URL, my first PG uh, against Black Mugger. And even to this day, like where things started to look shaky before, he gave me a chance and got me a plate against JC and Chef Trez and, um, and really helped to push that narrative uh, like a whole different direction. Like, stop thinking Saga's this, he just needs the right look. So he gave me those looks, I was able to utilize that. And now, you know, I, I freaking battle Rum Nitty, man. Like, that's, mm. that's insane. Like, I'm still trying to process that. Mm. Like, so shout out to Norris for believing in me enough to know that, like, beyond whatever everybody else is saying, like, there's a, a genuine talent that just needs to be, like, utilized the right way. So, oh, so we're going to leave it there and make it fair, man. None other than Saga Fly. You did.